so I'm currently on my way to Birmingham and I'm in Copenhagen and my flight was cancelled and there doesn't seem to be any more flights to Birmingham like this morning and I'm literally seeing my friend today and tomorrow so if it's cancelled this whole trip is just a waste damn it I was gonna do a happy vlog today and then my flight is cancelled uh, the flight was cancelled, don't know why and now they've booked me on to a flight to Paris where which is gonna take two hours and then it's two hours like layover and then an hour 20 flight from Paris to Birmingham and I had booked all these flights to get there early so I could spend as much time with my friends as possible but now I will be arriving at five past two instead and that sucks but there's other people arriving in the afternoon so it is okay but like I did plan to get there early and now I'm getting there in the afternoon so thank you very much SAS. I do have to say though that the uh, service at SAS on Copenhagen very very nice people and they helped me out really quickly and had like all the flights sorted and everything so now I'm just waiting for the Air France people to hook me up with a boarding pass but I rather would have been at the gate boarding my flight right about now instead I'm here eating a disgusting bagel and being slightly annoyed. Ladies and gentlemen, your captain on behalf of Air France and the entire crew are very pleased to welcome your bodies at Rustry 18 to Paris Charles de Airport. Immediate departure, one hour and, one hour and 40 minute flight time to Fairweather in Paris a few minutes ago. It's 6 degrees, it's slightly cloudy. No ship is in flight. All my friends are meeting up in like 20 minutes, but I won't get there for another one and a half, a half hour flight so I can't even see any shops in this airport so I really hope that I haven't like accidentally passed them. I spent the entire day yesterday with my friends from uni and I have filmed a little bit of clips which you have just seen and now my friend who I shared a room with has just left so I thought I'd vlog a little bit because later on I'm going shopping with my friends and I don't really feel comfortable vlogging in front of them and they don't really know I'm vlogging either so I'm just trying to take a little bit chill and just film some like clips for montages and when I'm alone I will vlog like this but now I'm literally just gonna pop, hop in the shower and then put my face on and straighten my hair and then I'm gonna go out and have some breakfast because I have no food and I am starving. Found my hotel, now to find my room, 7.33. It's literally the furthest away. So I booked myself into the Ibis Budget Hotel and to be honest, it is the most basic room I have ever been in and there's a slight echo, but it smells really clean so that's a plus. There's a TV, there's a shower and a toilet and the best thing because I kind of want to wash my hair even though I don't have any shampoo, there's a hair dryer. So, that's really, really good. Let me check my, check my view. I did a little bit of shopping today, so I figured I will show you that before I end it today because I'm figuring I should just watch some Dynasty and then probably go to bed because I'm very tired. So I'm gonna show you what I got. 
as you know, I split my trousers, so I did go to New Look and I picked up a new pair of black jeans. They're not as high-waisted as my other ones, but I do have two pairs of high-waisted jeans at home, so I got low-waisted ones, super skinny from New Look, and it was 25% off. In M&S at the airport, I got some dinky posh sausages because I love myself some cocktail sausages and we don't get these at home. In Primark, I always find it really difficult to find things in Primark, but I did find this cute little grey t-shirt that says, I love dogs more than people, which is true because I hate people. Well, I don't hate people, but I do prefer dogs. A cheeky little chip to Selfridges and I bought a box of 30 Christmas cards for six pounds. Like that's nothing and they're super cute. There's these ones, there's these ones, there's ones with cats on them. Are these little nutcrackers with peanuts in them? I absolutely adore them. And in Selfridges, I also got some napkins that says every day I'm wrestling. And then we popped into Prime, no, not Primark, we popped into Poundland and I got this garland with like gloves and jumpers and stuff. And then I got this tacky one as well because my dad wanted some garlands and I don't know if he meant this type or this type so I got them both and they were only a pound but anyway that is all I bought except for the pasta that looks like Eiffel Tower I should probably show you that as well so I got pasta that looks like Eiffel Towers and yes it's chili and just normal pasta but, and I just thought they were cute because even though I didn't plan to go to Paris, I ended up going to Paris. But anyway, that is the end of today's vlog. Tomorrow I'm going to Dublin to see my friends and to see James Blunt in concert. So I will be vlogging in the morning before my friends arrive and then I'm gonna film a little bit from James Blunt and then on Tuesday, I'm going back home. But for now, I'm just saying, Good night. It's quarter past six in the morning. It's Monday morning and I'm about to head to Dublin. My flight leaves in an hour and 45 minutes and gate closes at 7.30. So I've got like an hour and 10 minutes to go to the airport, to get through security, find something to eat. But thank you, Ibis Budget Hotels. It's been nice. 47 pounds, totally worth it. between my flight and my friends arriving was gonna go really really quickly but it didn't and I'm just walking around shopping and maybe like exploring Dublin I just didn't know what to do so I'm just standing here now resting my feet Stop. 
Ganze Spark in der Bahn fahren.